What's up, guys? It's Kimmy. What's up, guys? It's Kimmy. And Hannah. And Hannah. Guys, I'm here with my wife, Hannah, finally. I am so excited because we have lots of questions. The Kimmy and Hannah show. <laughs> I'm kidding. There's our intro. <laughs> Thing. Yeah. Hey guys, it's Kimmy. I am joined here with my beautiful wife, Hannah, and we are here to answer some of your burning questions from Instagram. I did write some of them down here. We have 14 to answer. So 14. let's jump right in. First question. How did you guys meet? <laughs> we met on TikTok. So Back in the day, whenever I was really, really struggling with my pots and I would kind of make pots content every single day, um, Hannah watched those videos because she also has pots. What happened after that, Hannah? I mean, I messaged her and like told her like how it made me not, you know, feel seen and heard, um, which obviously that was your intention. Um, so yeah, it's weird. I always say that, you know, everything has a silver lining and POTS is definitely one of those things because if I weren't diagnosed with POTS or didn't go through that, I never would have met Hannah. And I truly cannot tell you what I would, I, I, my life wouldn't be what it is without her. Let's just say that. So yes, we met on TikTok. <laughs> When did you guys both know that the other person was the one? You want me to go first? Do you want to go first? Well, I knew... I, I know this is going to sound cliche, but like when I first saw you, I... Yeah, I know it sounds so cliche, but when I first saw her like on my screen, like not even in person, like whenever we first met in person, like on my screen, I was like, oh, wow like just everything because I was watching her live and like her charisma her just everything yeah You're yeah sweet. yeah You're sweet. I would say for me it was kind of just when we started talking getting to know each other more um I mean I when I first saw you I I knew that you were special yeah I think that's um, more my thing I guess I didn't I don't know but there was something in me that clicked that was like this is the one you've been waiting for. Mm -hmm. So for me, it was like that, but go ahead. Yeah, I mean, just kind of getting, talking to you, getting to know you a little bit more, kind of, you know, having a parallel life in some regards. Um, mm -hmm. That's what I would say. Yeah. That, and not that there wasn't an exact moment, but just kind of through all that. and It happened gradually. Mm -hmm. That's fair. That's absolutely fair. I would say that mine is kind of half like that too, because obviously I would like you know I wasn't like oh yeah I'm gonna marry her right now <laughs> like but there was you know kind of an intuition spark mm -hmm. if you will that was like this is the person you're going to marry mm -hmm. and yeah I got like chills when I saw her for the first time so yeah <laughs> what are your zodiac signs they are so compatible I'm a Capricorn and I'm a Virgo so Virgos, tell us about Virgos, Hannah. So we're typically very uh, practical and logical, um, you know, perfectionist type mm -hmm. people, if you will. That she is, that she is. Um, she's also very like, um, I would say that Virgos are very uh, committed people. Like whenever they start something, they're very committed to finishing it. Like a hobby or like, a project whereas a Capricorn <laughs> let's talk about Capricorns now um, we do it we leave a lot of things unfinished um, it's very kind of hard for us to finish things at least for me it is um, however we're very like not money oriented but very like goal oriented some Capricorns can be very um, materialistic um, I used to be, um, however, I do, a lot of Capricorns are workaholics and I have to say I can be like that sometimes, um, uh, but I've gotten a lot better at giving myself time to relax and not working myself to the bone. Um, 
but yeah, Capricorns and Virgos complement each other mm -hmm. wonderfully. Um, and so, yeah, those are our star signs. And I'd say it worked out pretty well, if you believe in that stuff, of course. <laughs> How long have we been married? We're coming up on a year. In we October. are. October 15th is our anniversary. Um, so yeah, we are super, super excited uh, to celebrate that for sure. Were you guys diagnosed with POTS as kids or adults? We were both adults, but probably had symptoms when we were children. Yeah. Um, of that for sure, but both yeah. of us, you, you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we were both adults in our early 20s. And, but yeah, I think that the symptoms that had been happening since childhood just got to a point that was so bad that it was debilitating yeah and we were like what is going on yeah <laughs> so yeah we were both adults what was your first date do you remember it we went to the mall remember because that was our first official date and then we went and sat in that red robin and our friend kept throwing salt <laughs> at the lady behind her <laughs> She no, I think that was at Chili's. No, that was Red Robin. Uh, yes, it was. It was in the mall at Red Robin. Maybe it was at Chili's. I'm not gonna say where, but oh, it was. Remember, it was at that Chili's. Oh, or okay. Our so, friend was still acting a fool in the mall. Okay, so. so wait. So was our first date the mall or Chili's? The mall, and then Chili's. Mm -hmm. Okay, the mall and Chili's. That, the mall was our that checks yeah. out yeah nothing really special yeah. I, I mean in our eyes we had already had first dates but like yeah. they were long distance because she was in california the state and i was in pennsylvania the state um and at that point during our relationship we were facetiming literally 24 hours a day every day like we didn't not want to be on the phone with each other <laughs> do you think that your dad would have liked hannah Oh my gosh, my dad would have loved this woman so much. And it, my, uh, my dad's brother loves her. Uh, and yeah, my whole family loves her. And I'm, he, yeah, this, yes, I'm sorry. I'm getting like emotional because, you know, he never did get to meet you. And that makes me really sad, but. Someday someday yeah <laughs> um it makes me sad that he never got to meet my wife um you know whenever um he died i knew that that would be something he'd never get to meet you know my future kids future spouse whatever um but i feel that he sees me um i felt him at our wedding um his approval <laughs> his approval if you will yeah um, so yes, I do. And I do believe he's aware of her and knows I'm so happy. And, um, yeah. <laughs> oh, now I have to stop crying. <laughs> How do you feel about the stereotype that lesbians often look like their partners? I feel like that stereotype is not just for, um, lesbians. I feel like it's, it's just, oh, people that, like relationships that look good mm -hmm. are when they look yeah like each other it, according you know according to other people according to but, society yeah yeah um the amount of times we have gotten sisters is but we don't even look alike that's yeah. the thing it's only it's, the it's hair. only because and whenever my hair was more like because she's a natural we'll, we'll go on to our next question <laughs> are you guys natural redheads hannah is i am i am not i if you consider this red <laughs> tell her to be quiet right now her hair is stunning okay um i dye my hair i have naturally brown very dark, dark brown, brown hair like your eyebrows yeah well this is like ashy brown i don't know what's going on with my eyebrows i think they're turning gray from you <laughs> that's why i have white hairs all over my head you found one i have multiple kimberly hannah lee <sighs> but what do you think about that stereotype I mean, it's not. <laughs> I mean, I think that it's not always accurate. No, so. I think. 
a stereotype's a stereotype. Some people actually fall into it just by sheer chance, and then some people but don't. Do you agree though? It's not just lesbians. No, it's not just lesbians. Or, um, no, you'll be like, it's... you're like, oh wow, that couple looks really good together, and, and they, they look like brother and sister. <laughs> Whatever. Yeah. Hey, as long as they're happy together, and it's, they're, they're both not consenting. Actually brother and sister. <laughs> that's not what I meant by that. I, that's not what I meant. <laughs> Let's move on to the next question. Ooh, favorite actor. <sighs> He's gone, but Robin Williams. Mm -hmm. Robin Williams. Probably Melissa McCarthy. Yeah. I think she's so funny and she like really does so much. Yeah. And isn't she's really no good at physical one, comedy too. Yeah. Yeah. I love her in the spy movie. Oh, uh, the heat. No, no, that's the that's... movie called Spy. Oh, okay. Well, she, the how a you're a fake ass fan, <laughs> <laughs> but I like that movie because there's Sandra Bullock in it too. Yeah, we like Sandra Bullock. We like it. Sandy Bullock. Yeah, all time favorite album. All time favorite album. Two thousand years later. I want to say either Adele 19 or Adele 30. <laughs> well, we knew it was going to be Adele. I'd say for you, Adele 19. Yeah. But you can say both. We'll, we'll say I'd both. I'd say 19, yeah. Um, I hate to go basic. You guys all know what I'm going to say. Rumors. It's just an album that I can listen fully through and not have to skip. It is predictable, and that's okay, you know? Um, but I like lots of other music. But if you're, like, telling me to pick one album um, off the top of my head, I have to pick Rumors. I, I And mm -hmm. if I'm not going to sit here and think about it forever. And that's fair. Off the top of my head, yeah, Rumors. That just would be it. So what's the deal with... Ch they want to know what the deal with children is. And, you know, are we having adopting and you know are we comfortable talking about that i'm comfortable talking about it mm -hmm. i mean i we want to adopt um because we both with our health it's hard we both come to the conclusion um that neither of us really can physically handle having a child so we're gonna wait till we're a bit older. We're gonna have some time by ourselves and our fur babies and um, enjoy our lives. And we're gonna wait till we're a bit older and hopefully adopt. So that's the answer on that. Uh, not anytime soon. <laughs> we are uh, enjoying our 20s and half of our 30s, hopefully. <laughs> The last question, which I save for last because it's my favorite one. What is your favorite thing about each other? What was that face for? Meanie Bobini? Wow. <laughs> you're just, your soul is beautiful. You have a beautiful soul. That is my favorite thing about you. You are a genuine soul and just yeah if that makes any sense mm -hmm. that's my favorite thing about you you're just you're a good person you're a really good person that's what i mean by a genuine soul you mm -hmm. know yeah i don't know if i can pick one you're just you're funny you're kind you're genuine you're i'm insane <laughs> i can't say that but like same but, yeah thank you yeah I love you. I love you. <laughs> well, guys, those are our questions for today. Thank you, everybody on Instagram who uh, wrote those. We really appreciate it. And um, I, I really love how much you guys love Hannah. Um, even before this video, like, so many of you know of her and, um, you know, have kind of been with me on the journey of being with her and all that stuff. And um, so thank you for welcome, welcoming her into our little family we have here. Um, and, you know, we both thank you guys from the bottom of our hearts Absolutely. just for being here and supporting us wholeheartedly and me wholeheartedly. And 
um, my endeavors and everything. So I'll talk to you guys in my next video and thanks for hanging with us. Bye. Bye. <laughs>